Hi everyone, my name is Jose Reyes, and let's start with the first class that we have out of here. So basically, we're going to start working with uh, the three primary colors that we have out of here. Um, in the previous class, so basically, it's a little bit messed up, but uh, I'm going to start to explain what's going on right here. <clears throat> so basically, we have the three primary colors. We have the blue, we have the yellow, and we have the red. Now, a, in order for me to see the colors, I need to break it down. So what I broke down the colors, and blue has 100%, which means it, which, and blue is 100%, which is one whole molecule, and yellow is 50%, it's only half of the molecule, and red is only 25%, this is the smallest mo uh, molecule on the system. Now, uh, I need to get a neutral out of this one, so basically what I did, I start adding the colors one by one, so basically I did red 25%, I did yellow another 25%, and I did blue another 25%. Once I get all those three together, I mix them all together, I get a neutral. So, a neutral. What's a neutral? A neutral is the balance between who and what color. So this is on the middle, so this is not too cool and it's not too cold, it's balancing on it. So that's the uh, neutral tone. Now let's move on to the rest of the coloring. So basically, um, let's start adding the colors, start getting all the colors broke down and find out the end result of the formulation. So now, uh, since I got already 25% of yellow, I got left uh, only 25%, so let's put it right here. We have a yellow equals uh, 25%, and now the blue I have 75%. Uh, let me put it right here, 75% of blue. Let me get another marker, it seems to be not as good as I want to. Okay, so basically, as I said previously, yellow we have 25%, and we have 75% of blue due to the equation that we did previously. So now what I need to do, I need to break the uh, numbers down to get another uh, results of the formulation. So basically, I'm gonna be mixing yellow 25% with uh, another 25% of blue. So if I mix yellow and blue equal parts, whatever I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be getting a green, a green tone. So this equation, whatever I got, is gonna be a green. Uh, but now we have another 50% of blue. So now we have 50% of green that I was mixed between both molecules, and I have 50% of blue that is pure pigment. Now I can do uh, add both of them together, and their result, uh, their result of these will be uh, blue green. Uh, that will be one of the end results, or I can start remixing uh, re it again. So now let's start mixing uh, green and blue equal parts. Whatever I'm going to be getting out of this equation will be two different uh, results. One will be uh, silver, and two will be a muddy tone. So that will be one and two. Now the difference between those two colors is that I, um, if I have more blue on the formula, I'm gonna be a silver. Why? Because blue is gonna be lighter than, uh, than the rest of the color and the contrast of the color will make the look of the hair more lighter. So that's why we have the silver tone. Now when we have more green on the other side, whatever that we get is gonna be a really muddy tone. So this is one of the formulations that I have for you today guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.